welcome back to Testus Tuesday Tips. And in keeping with our rock making theme, I got my mate here from Australia, Ruli Anton, and uh, he molded some rocks for me, or made some rock molds from down under. Uh, why don't you go ahead and tell them what you've done? Well, what we have here is uh, what we used to do in the museum business was um, we'd make sheet rock. And uh, we just do it with ordinary bathroom silicon, just the clear silicon. We'd find the rock out in the woods or out in the bush and uh, we'd use a beeswax mold release and we'd buff over the rock and uh, heat it up with a heat gun and then we would just get the silicone and we'd just put it all over the rock and then with just a really soapy hand like some uh, Dawn. Like we did in the other video. Yeah, with Dawn dishwashing soap water, yes. and then you just pack it in really carefully and let it dry and uh, we'd build up a couple of layers so you do it over a day or two and then we end up with these flexible silicon sheet molds and then you can move them around and you can use a gear scale to hold them up or whatever and then you can actually just mix up bondo and resin and uh, tempera paints and you can tint the colors this, like one's, this one's straight just, bondo that's just straight bondo this and one's uh tempera colors and then we just pour it in and as it sets you can actually see you get all that beautiful texture and you can break them which is great and you've got a really nice piece of sheet rock We've broken them here, starting to build a base, see? Yeah. Just like the fancy guys do. All this really does for me is it actually gets a better rock, and it's a lot cheaper. A rock like this cost me about $4 in Bondo, uh, and a little bit of time foam. We just mix up a little bit of foam after we've made it, and we just paint it on really quickly, let it heat up in the sun, and then, then we can just sort of put it over your knee and you can break it whenever you need it and then we use it on the habitat basis. That's pretty much it. I mean, we'd like to complicate it, but Jeff's not here. We can't, so we can't make it any harder and we right. can't make it more expensive. Right. And then that could be reused a hundred times. It doesn't need mold release. Uh, it's got that impression of the rock on it. And I've built plenty of these molds before. And you can pull 50, 60, maybe a hundred rocks out of them. Uh, and that'll work for another hundred years, yep. guaranteed. And then so going to do now is put another layer of foam on this like you did on this one just to give it a little more strength so I do, is always, I, I always do. mix it carefully perfectly blended Exactly 50, 50. So when it comes to two-part foam, I like to get it just a creamy consistency, especially if I'm going to paintbrush it on. But then I just pour it in really, really quickly. And like, if I was to leave this, it would actually just come right up high. But what happens is, is that when we actually paint it around like this, it'll actually collapse the foam structure and it makes a harder foam. And that's how you get those really, really nice dents. And this is so warm out here. Look at this, it's going really quickly. Oh, but we wanted just a little bit of foam on there because that just gives it some strength and rigidity. Anyway, thanks for tuning in to Test the Tuesday Tips. And we'll see you next time. Maybe even from down under. Stay later.